folks, if you don't know already, we're talking about the Bible today. It's pretty obvious. We've got signs there, we've got Bibles there, and there's even a sign just to remind you what we're talking about. But strangely enough, I want to start off with back problems. Millions of people in this country, and probably throughout the world, have got problems with their back. Doctor's notes are prolific in terms of, Doctor, I've got a bad back, I need to be off work. Many causes for bad backs. It can be a genetic problem, it can be lifting things incorrectly. But I absolutely know the reason why I've got a bad back. It was entirely my own fault. I was restoring an old car and I managed to get a hold, hold of the quite rare workshop manual. Not the usual little guidebook that you get when you get a car, where to put the water for your washers and things like that. It was a proper workshop manual. And the time came for me to take the engine out to put in a new clutch. The workshop manual said categorically, take the engine out with the gearbox remove the engine and gearbox together. That's what the workshop manual said. But I decided I knew better. I wasn't going to disconnect things on the gearbox and mess about like that. So I ignored the workshop manual. How are you? Totally <laughs> ignored it. Everything went well until I came to join the engine back to the gearbox. It was a terrible job. And later in that day, when I was lifting, I really badly damaged my back. So I know, categorically, why I damaged my back. Now, God has got a workshop manual. It's called the Bible. And it's Bible is God's workshop manual. Now, I read my workshop manual for my car because I've got a problem. We do have a problem in actual fact. All of us, every one of us, has a problem because we're separated from God. That's the problem. Many people try to find different ways of getting right with God. They'll try all kinds of things. Eastern mysticism, uh, all the right books, philosophy, uh, trying all different religions throughout the world. Many, many people try to find God because deep down people know there is a problem. We know that we're separated from God because we're certainly not perfect. The Bible calls that sin. We're not perfect, but God is perfect. So we're separated. There's a problem. But there's a workshop manual. But very often we assume what's in the Bible and we criticise it or we have a belief about something in it. The thing is, to read the Bible, most people, strangely enough in this country, somewhere have got a Bible sitting on a bookshelf or somewhere in a cupboard. How many of us pick the Bible up and read it? That's why today we're giving people the opportunity to have a small piece of the Bible. And it's interesting because the Bible is the most stolen book in the world. 
And this is according to the Guinness Book of Records. It's the most stolen book in the world. It's been, been translated into a tremendous number of languages. 73% of all the world's population have access to a Bible in one form or another. There are a hundred million copies of the Bible produced each year. It's actually the best-selling book of all time. And it's God's workshop manual to sort out a problem. I ignored the workshop manual and I've got the damage today. Ignoring God's workshop manual has an effect into eternity. But there is something amazing in this book. What's amazing in God's manual is it leads to a tremendous event in history where we were, can be put right with God through one person, a person that lived on this earth, he walked this earth 2,000 years ago. He was fully man. He knew what life was like. He knew suffering. He knew persecution. He knew poverty. He knew where there was nowhere to actually put his head. <laughs> the young little or nothing. But he was able to put things right for us between God and mankind. And what he did do, he actually became a sacrifice on a cross at Calvary. And this joined us back together through the blood and the, and the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. It's in the workshop manual. If people read the workshop manual, they wouldn't finish up with the problem I've got and because of ignoring the Palmer workshop manual. God's workshop manual tells us everything that we need to be put right with God through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ bridges that gap and the amazing thing is you don't have to pay a fortune for it you don't have to. we're giving away if you wanted a whole Bible today we would give you one but we're giving parts of the Bible we're not telling you what to believe just read a bit of the Bible yourself and make your own decision and what we're saying today is Don't hesitate, don't be embarrassed. If you want a Bible today, if you want a part of the Bible to take away and read it yourself, just come and ask us. <laughs> we've got plenty, and if we use them all today, we've got more. So feel free to ask questions. Don't forget God's workshop manual, the Bible. Thank you.